Hello, the practitioner here. Um, I actually particularly find this whole subject very interesting of morality and stuff like that in general, largely uh, for two reasons. One of which, I used to be a uh, hefty Christian myself. I, I was moderate leaning towards fundamentalism before I kind of got guided towards agnosticism, I would say. But the second thing is that... Um, Again, I, I just simply say I'm still agnostic because I genuinely don't know one way or the other. I've just basically said, well, that's where my beliefs were and are still are to a certain extent. I just, um, I'm just allowing myself to attach for in the event of other evidence that shows up. But I digress. Um, the more important issue is the fact that, um, well, whether you call it God, uh, whether it was God who did it or was the, whether it was just purely my own DNA, um, I was born with Asperger's syndrome. Uh, namely, it's an autistic spectrum disorder. And from that... Um, my brain is predisposed to uh, logical, to hyper logical thinking, and to um, uh, to hyper focus more so to logic, and to lack of social and to lack of understanding of social uh, of social nuances. That includes social morality, social norms. So it's ironic, but I actually agree with you that uh, society is highly inconsistent. And well, what's interesting about that is that I'm I'm curious, and I was. Now, the thing is that, again, maybe, maybe it's just for my whole um, slew of critical thinking and stuff like that, but anytime I come across a moral system, um, one of the things I have to do, I, and I, I always did this back, I even did this back when I was still, in, uh, when I was still um, uh, you know, heavily Christian, and all my questions, ironically, were answered at the time, and you know, were given a full uh, internal logical consistency. Um, I just simply asked, um, you know, why is God's current moral system effective? Uh, or, no, rephrase that. I should be a little bit uh, clearer about that. What my original question was, was, okay, A, what is the moral definition of what's going on here? And B, which parts of the, um, of the, uh, uh, of the, uh, the talking about, um, you know, from the, from the Bible are outdated and which ones are current? Because there was one thing which uh, always perplexed me. And again, this was before I moved to agnosticism, so this was the thing which started playing in my mind was that um, there was a bit where uh, Jesus said, I did not come to surpass the law, I came to fulfill it. And there was a whole part of the belief circulating that after Jesus died and resurrected, uh, according to Christian scripture, that therefore there were certain parts of the Old Testament which were now outdated. Well, my question is, um, how far of morality got superseded by the uh, two commandments of love God and love your neighbor? The particular bits which I'm interested in in relation to that are... Um, uh, are in relation to the uh, anti-homosexuality uh, commandments at the time. Again, those were, and this is the interesting bit, is, um, and this is the interesting bit about, at the time, the logic was, of course, self-consistent. The Israelites were a very small tribe, and, um, again, uh, we're, we're postulating God here. So, uh, again, if God gave them the moral commandments, he would have no doubt um, been saying, well, you know, I don't want you having homosexual uh, homosexual relationships because I don't want my chosen people to die out. I mean, that would have been perfectly logical for that time period. But, you know, the question is nowadays, is that, um, you know, I mean, God would not give us a reason for something. He would not give us an arbitrary moral reason. He would, he would always, like, God has a reason for everything. There, you know, I mean, even if we don't understand it, there's always got to be a reason for it. Because, you know, if there weren't, he wouldn't have constructed as order universe as there was. He would have, um, I mean, if God had no reason for his moral concepts, he would have just simply, um, uh, if God, if God had, uh, didn't have a reason for his concept, uh, for his morality or what have you, or didn't, if there wasn't a logic behind it, then uh, he would be acting like a, uh, like a tyrant, like one of these uh, tyrannical dictators whose word was law or like a feudal uh, later or something. But I digress. Um, the more important issue, which I've always been kind of curious about, and this was in relation to just in scripture in general, and this was in relation to, um, again, uh, talking about your point about uh, God's morality is long-standing and is constantly superseding. Well, my question about that is, um, one of my greatest concerns was the fact that for the longest period of time, there were actual, um, a large chunk of what was considered the detail work, if you will, of trying to carry out God's morality or of God's uh, moral law was often subject to interpretation in certain areas. I mean, for example, um, 
well, not to put too fine a point on it one particular point, but there were actually a group of Spaniards at one point. Um, this was just out, this was back during the um, 15, 1600s, during the height of the Spanish Empire in the um, in South and, and uh, Central America. They actually took slaves. Um, they took slaves, and uh, you know they took the natives and black people. Uh, no, actually, did they take the? No, they started taking black people later. I'm sorry. Um, but they took the native people locally as slaves, and they burned the local books. Uh, priests actually burned uh, books of um, of uh, older um, of older lore and myth and what have you, of Mayans and the like, because they considered it to be the work of the devil, and that uh, and that literally um, they had to, and that literally converting them to Christianity, whatever it took, including uh, in some cases a brutal beating of people as slaves. And uh, while well, taking people on as slaves and then converting them to Christianity was cons was their interpretation of what God's work was. Now the thing is that um, I guess my concern is that uh, you are right about the about the societal lack of consistency. And my concern about this is that um, well, large chunks of our uh, large chunks of uh, of morality have been justified time and again. I, I mean, um, even large chunks of so-called improvements in our society, uh, the, uh, the 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 abolition of slavery in Britain. Um, uh, the uh, the the the, the, uh, the Declaration of Independence and founding of democracy. I mean, it used to be that it was believed uh, Christianity, uh, like there used to be a Christian interpretation in Europe called the divine right of kings, that monarchs were the uh, were the emissaries of God and His Son Jesus Christ. But nowadays, we believe in democracy, and we believe that it's God, our God-given right to vote. Well, the thing is, what what changed in the past three hundred years? I mean. Did the Bible have any clear, you know, did the Bible have any clear ideas on this? And the thing is that so often there's been a lot of connections to various different parts of Scripture, all of which justified each of the societal changes, that my concern is, and again, I'm not trying to knock Scripture here, I'm just concerned that, um, that when we're trying to interpret um, the constant morality, that maybe in the process we are... I mean, everybody, of course, is biased to a certain extent. I mean, we all we always do get shaped by our society to a certain extent. But might we, in our t attempts to, um, or or you know, might might humanity, in its attempt to in or you know, in its past history of two thousand years or uh, of sort of the past like you know fifty thousand years since it's been in existence, of trying to interpret religious morality or or for the last six thousand years because that's how long the Bible's been around. Uh, but you know, during that time period, for the last six thousand years, where the Bible has been, um, you know, has been in existence, five six thousand years, um, you know, how many times have we changed our interpretations of the morality? Uh, you know, how many times have we had um, part of the word then, which later got superseded, or or something like that, or or how many times in, in the past two thousand years alone, after uh, Christ died and resurrected, how many times in the past two thousand years have we uh, interpreted and reinterpreted? Um, what uh, Jesus was trying to say about morality and what the Bible is supposed to be telling us. And we still keep constantly praying on it because we don't get it. And that's my concern about this, is that um, even as we're saying, you know, God's law automatically supersedes, we've got to be careful not to uh, fall into that particular mindset that we automatically think that our interpretation of morality is automatically perfect. And we should still be constantly praying, and who knows, maybe even checking the secular humanist uh, views or what have you, because you never know. I mean, even though they're probably, uh, you know, they're, uh, uh, you never know. Like, God put the Holy Spirit in everybody. Like, you know, that, that's the whole thing. It's like, he, he, the, we, we are made in God's image, and there is a bit of the Spirit in everyone. Well, who knows? Maybe by some sheer chance on one particular issue, the secular humanists had, the, uh, had God's morality. Maybe they did. Maybe we have the bulk of it. Maybe they do. Maybe there's some third party who has the who has uh, the bulk of who has the true morality, and the both of us, you know, uh, most of us Christians and the secular humanists are flailing uh, are flailing our limbs off. I mean, you know, we don't know, and that's where we should be applying critical thinking to the Bible, just like everything else, um, I, I, along with constant prayer and stuff like that. We should be constantly questioning our own moral values. Um, I guess I guess that's my point. Is that um, is that you know I'm not trying to sow doubt on the Bible. I'm just simply saying that you know, given what uh, what we've known of history, um, you know, a large chunk of what we've considered to be God's law, uh, you know, drawing even drawing from Scripture, has been um, interpreted uh, often to fit the day uh, the standards of the day. So um, I, I guess you can see where my concern lies on this. Anyway, um, I'm still like I said, I'm an agnostic, but I'm still going to wish God be with you, and um, yeah. Thanks for the good vid, and I hope you respond and uh, give me some clarification. Toodles.